Dear Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for this day and for all of the blessings that thou has bestowed upon us. We're grateful for our families, and for the opportunity that we have to serve. Please bless us that we will continue to be inspired as we teach the gospel. Please bless us that we will be healthy and stay safe and that we will get the good night's rest that we need. Please bless Sister Williams' family that they will also be healthy and safe and please bless my family for the same. Please bless us that we will always remember what we're supposed to be doing here as we serve the Lord and spread the gospel. We say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Good night, Ashley. Good night, Jessica. Do you want to take this one? Yeah. Can I help you? Hi. Hi, I'm Sister Thompson, and this is my companion, Sister Williams, and we're here from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yeah, I don't think We want to teach you. Hey, don't be discouraged. Come on, let's go. today. Good, thanks. How are you? Good. My name is Sister Williams. This is my companion, Sister Thompson. Hi. We're from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Someone in your area gave us your name as someone who might be interested in hearing some of our church's teachings. So if you have a minute, we'd love to sit down with you and talk about God's wonderful plan for us. Um, It'll only take a few moments and you can learn all about how your family can be together forever. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Come on in. Oh, I'll get it. Who is it? Hello. Hi, President Benson. <clears throat> um Yes, uh, today we finished all of Fourth Ward, um, and tomorrow we were going to start with the... Well, yes. I must admit, this, this comes as a bit of a surprise. I mean, it hasn't even been six weeks since the last transfer. Does this mean Sister Thompson will be transferred as well? I understand. Yes, I can be ready at nine tomorrow. Goodbye. Where? Alberta. As far away from you as they could put me. <sighs> he was talking to me on the phone. <sighs> he said he almost considered just <sighs> ending my mission because of mental illness. The way you finish your mission is the way you finish your life, he said. 
<laughs> no, he said it as a threat. As if he thinks he knows something. I mean, could it have been one of the families that we visited? Or, or maybe they found something during the apartment check? We weren't careful enough. No, we were. We did what if they send me home too? They're not going to send you home, okay? Listen, we're going to get through this, okay? We just, we just have to finish this out and then, and then just go back to Salt Lake, okay? Just go back there and stay there and I'll come for you, okay? I'll come find you, I promise. And it's not over, it's not over.